Okay, here's a quick video to show the very basics of rigging a character. Uh, it's going to be all FK, so forward kinematics. There's no inverse kinematics in this, and it's the just the simplest way to do it, uh, just to get you started. Then you can start looking and researching other techniques. Okay, so here's my character. Best to be in front view, I would say, and um, orthographic mode. I'll take off my background image over here. You get this panel with the N key. Better display my screencast, that will help. And we can start setting up our bones. Okay, so Shift A uh, is add and armature, single bone. There it is, it obviously appears where your cursor is. I can grab that and put it in the middle of my character. Something I didn't say at the beginning is that it's a good idea to set your character to zero, zero, zero. So let's put him at zero, zero, zero. That puts him here and let's go into edit mode select all and pull him upwards so that center point is right at the base there and he's at zero 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 no root uh, no scale and no rotation uh, that will save any confusion later on uh, let's go back to my bone the best way to click it is over here or you can go to wireframe mode and see your bone just there and click on it that way okay so we've got a problem immediately and that's that we can't see our bones if we go over here to the armature we can set it to x-ray so that little tab there is armature and there's x-ray and now we can see through the other thing to do is to go to side view and make sure it's in the middle okay I'm now back to object mode on this so I'm going to change the edit mode again and now I can start uh, creating bones and moving them around so I'll grab the top of this bone move it like that G to grab E to extrude pull that up to sort of shoulders E to extrude for the neck and E to extrude for the head bone. Let's go back to the front view. There it all is. And if I put my cursor here with the left mouse button for a change, Shift A will just automatically add an armature. And then I can grab this, put it down, E to extrude. And I'm not going to do any fingers today, just E to extrude. And there's a hand. And I better move this into a bit more of a correct position. Okay, so let's go to side view. And you can see this arm is not in the right place, so we'll pull that over nice and easy. And it's a good idea to pull back slightly where you've got a bend. That arm will only bend this way, so you pull it back, gives it an initial bend. Okay, let's set up the leg, go to front view again, put our cursor there, shift A, and there's our bone. Grab, pull it down, extrude, and go to side view, pull these in and extrude. I'm going to do a really simple one again. This is just the basics. There's lots of ways of doing this and this is really very minimal. The next thing to do uh, is to name your bones. This is quite important so you can copy the bones across to the other side and just flip the names. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll do the first bone, go up to the bone panel over here and rename your bone. So this is arm.l, so arm.left. L. That's quite important that you have dot L, then it will flip the names when you copy it over to the other side. So arm dot L and then press enter. And it doesn't matter what you call them, just as long as they have dot L on them. Same with the legs. Okay, so they're named. It would be a good idea to name these as well, but it's a quick tutorial. So let's grab these. Shift D to duplicate, Shift D. And then you can see I've got a duplicate here. Right click so they're in the same place, then scale X minus one. And that will bring them across over to here. Grab them, bring them across there, and that's perfect. Now what we can do is armature, and there's flip names. And you'll see that these are now got dot R on them, so they are different. Same for these ones. Shift D, right click, scale X minus one. So I'm scaling in the X axis, negative one so it mirrors it basically there is a mirror option but i just prefer to do it this way i find it quicker and easier and there we go flip names again okay you're all set up ready to go the last thing to do is to parent uh, these objects to this mesh um, so when you move this uh, these will move with it okay so i'll click this one and this one and what you want to parent them to you click last so i'll do that and then press Control p for parent and if you press connected, they'll jump in and lose their distance. We don't want that. We want control P. So I just undid that. Keep offset. That's keep the distance between them. Same for these two and this one. So remember to select the one you want to parent to last. Control P, keep offset. 
and there we go. Now if I'm in edit mode, if I go to pose mode and grab this one, you can see my whole armature moves with it. If I move this one, the whole leg moves with it. Okay, that should make sense. With forward kinematics, you don't really move the bones, you rotate the bones, but we'll come to that later. Very last thing to do is if you have a mesh with a mirror, which I have, make sure you apply the mirror. Really, really important. Those of my students have problems uh, when they forget to apply the mirror. So do that first. It's a good idea to save your work first. So I called it pre-mirror apply and then apply my mirror and I'm going to file save as again. Okay, grab my body, then the armature, because that's what I want to pair it to, but the armature is still in pose mode, so change that back to object mode. We'll just, just do that again. Body, armature, control P, and then with automatic weights. That will set up the weighting for you. Okay, then you can test this out by going to pose mode. So click on your armature again, go to pose mode, and let's see what happens when we rotate this by the y-axis, R, Y, and he's doing a wobble. Okay, then you can sort of set up any pose you want. Okay, so that is really basic rigging. Hope that helped. And look out for future episodes where I will talk about IK and weight painting.